welcome back to my channel. Um, it's a Kit Kat video. Those aren't Kit Kats. You're right. It's uh, it's actually a Pringles video. <laughs> Are they even on the screen? <laughs> no, you can't oh. see them <laughs> down there at all. So I got a bunch of different flavors of Japanese Pringles. We're gonna try them and it's gonna be delicious. To cleanse my palate between, betwixt the bites, I have a red bull. <laughs> Plenty of sugar from all of these. From the chips? Do you think so? Do you not think so? Let me I look at the know. ingredients. I don't really think oh so no, much. it's in Japanese. <laughs> okay, so should I tell you what the flavor is or should you try it and then try and guess? You're never gonna guess. Can I look at the picture and guess? Yeah, I feel like some of the pictures maybe you'll get it, but yeah. we should say that we had a Kit Kat video that didn't come out. It took so long for it to come out. We were different human beings and also we were really boring in it. <laughs> Were we sad about the pandemic? <laughs> I don't know. It's a lost episode, so you didn't miss anything. I don't remember anything about it. I just remember thinking at the end, we were just kind of flat in that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we start with the first Pringle? Would you like to guess what you think it is? Pikachu. Okay, perfect. And not is at it, all. Is it like peas and gravy? Is it like a shepherd's pie? What is that? Well, what does it look like? It looks like shepherd's pie. It doesn't at all look like a shepherd's pie. You are so wrong. There's the potatoes. There's the ground beef. You think those that's potatoes. The, those are the peas. You think that's potatoes. I should also mention all of these Pringles are expired. Ah, okay. <laughs> Just slightly though, because we waited so long to do this video. First Pringle. They're littler than American Pringles. Oh my God. Who would eat these for fun? Oh. I like those. Really? That's way too much flavor in a Pringle. I'm not getting any shepherd's pie out of it. Yeah, it turns out. I really taste one particular flavor. Paprika. No. I taste the corn. Like I really taste corn. I don't like that. That's like a kick in the mouth as soon as you put it in your mouth. It tastes like a bit of curry. Curry, interesting. This is miso ramen flavor. Mm. Yeah, see, it's a cup of ramen. Okay, not Obviously. a shepherd's pie. <laughs> yeah, and there's corn and like green onion on top of it. And I really taste the corn, but yeah, I don't like that. But you seem to have liked that. Fine, that's that's an easy six out of 10. Yeah, I would give out like a, well, well it was the, the aftertaste was good, but the immediate like kick of flavor didn't like four out of 10. Oof. Okay, what about this one? What is that, like a, a banister? Like a doorknob? What is that? What is <laughs> banister. it? Banister. Oh, cheese and pepper. It is in fact black pepper cheese. Oh, it's the pepper grinder that was the Yeah, <laughs> it's not a banister. <laughs> I'm not really a big cheese and onion fan on crisps. Oh, these don't really smell like anything. They don't really taste like anything either. I think the expiration was the flavor taste. Yeah, I barely taste pepper. Like the I taste Pringle, it very- The Pringle is still there, but the flavor has gone. <laughs> These are fairly expired. <laughs> yeah. 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 I will say you eat expired crisps all the time though. Yeah, and expired chocolate. Yeah. You get away, as long as it's not like powdery. Right, you can get away with it. Well, I'm, well, I'm gonna do waste it. Exactly. That tastes like nothing. Yeah, it tastes like nothing. You know how if you've been using pepper, and then it's a little bit sneezy in the air. And mm -hmm. it's like, it tastes like that. Mm -hmm. That's about it. It tastes like I inhaled where someone was using pepper like 30 seconds it ago. It tastes like 30 seconds ago pepper. Yeah. So I'm going to give that, well, I'm just give it like a five out of 10 because it's just neutral. That's five, yeah. That's just, just like, like in the middle. This one is spare rib flavor. Yeah, Texas ribs. <laughs> Texas ribs? Texas. Wow. Texas ribs. This should be ideal for you then. This better be you good. You love Japan and you live in Texas. And I love ribs. Ooh. Mmm. Smells good. Ooh, damn. That might oh be my God. <laughs> that might be the best. You know what, that smells like almost like a crispy duck in a Chinese. I legit, that is like I bit into a rib. That is legitimately yeah. like I'm eating a rib. I, mm. that is good. Do you remember, boy? <laughs> At the beginning of the pandemic, when I made that huge brisket. No. Yes, you do. I took all day. I made that gigantic brisket. Liar. Anyway, <laughs> ridiculous. Yes, obviously you were there. It was like so much fat, I had to make all the sauce and put it in this bag. And it was like a whole thing. 
Was it a dream? No, it wasn't a dream. Anyway, this tastes exactly like my mm. brisket ended up tasting. That's pretty good. I'd give that an eight. Yeah, I definitely, I'd give it like an eight and a half out of ten. I don't think I would be like, you know what I could go for right, go for, for right now? What? You know what I could go for right now? Some rib chips, but I'm not mad at them at all. You can see the way they flavored it is only in the middle. And if you can see the, the powder streak. Yeah, that was a good one though. That was really good. I feel like strong flavors of chips I'm usually not a fan of, but dang. What do you feel like that looks like? Soy sauce on cheesecake. No. <laughs> Soy on an Egg McMuffin. Cheesecake and an Egg McMuffin, what? But, uh, butter cake, but pancakes. In a coffee filter. So close. It's um, Hokkaido butter shoyu scallops. Shoyu is like soy sauce. So, scallops. Scallops. That's a, that's a shell there. Not a coffee Fucking filter. Coffee filter. You know, you don't like scallops, so. Uh, I don't like them raw. I don't like the texture of them. Well, they this is, guess what? This texture is going to be different. Yeah. They don't smell good. Oh. Getting a lot of that butter. Oh god. Oh. Oh. That had to be bad for you, start to finish, because you hate butter. Oh, it's rancid. That was butter at the beginning, which I loved, but immediately fishy aftertaste. Nobody wants fishy aftertaste butter. Who <coughs> who wants these? Oh, it's still in my mouth. I have fishy butter in my mouth. That was rats. That was a two. Oh, that was so bad. That was definitely a one for me. See, a one, I feel like I wouldn't be able to finish a pack. I couldn't finish a pack of those. I could get them down, but I'd be like, ugh, the whole way. But that was... I, I love the butter. If it's like... But I didn't taste any butter. The fishiness was, was what got like, me. Yeah, that's horrible. That tasted like if you kept fish in Tupperware, oh. and then just the empty box of Tupperware. <laughs> so, oh, fish is like one flavor or smell that I just can't stomach. Like, it immediately <laughs> makes me want to vomit. So one for you. I don't want to be that extreme, so I'm going to say two. Yeah, one for me. Well, I was going to get the fish and chips ones next, but I'm going to I'm gonna avoid them. Fish. Yeah, I don't want to double fish. Well, we're going to double prawn, it looks like. These are Tom Yum flavored. Now, I don't know what Tom Yum is. I, I believe it's a, a dish that has prawns in it because I'm looking at a shrimp. Should we Google it? <clears throat> if you can Google it, that'd be great. Thai soup? Ooh, it's a Thai soup. What's it got in it? Tom Yum or Tom Yam is a type of hot and sour Thai soup usually cooked with shrimp. Boom, nailed it. Knew exactly what I was talking about the whole time. All right. These all smell. Ooh. They don't smell as strong as they taste. Yeah, this one smells good. That tastes like dish soap to me. <laughs> is it the, the lemon from my Propel? Because I'm getting dish soap. I'm getting, this might be the first one where I'm tasting the staleness. These are really expired. <laughs> oh, come on. We should have filmed this episode when I bought the chips. Yeah, those are texture wise aren't holding up. The flavors, whatever, that's a four. Yeah, I feel like it's kind of nothing. It's like, it's not unpleasant. I feel like I'm getting lime in there. I'm getting a bit of post spice. Oh. It sort of tastes like if you huffed a bag of Bombay mix. What is Bombay mix? That sort of a uh, spicy trail mix sort of spicy thing. No idea what you're talking about, but I'll support you. I, I feel like that was like a three or a four out of 10, but it's probably because they're expired. <laughs> All right, well, we'll take it home for you. Fish and chips. Fish and chips, little British fish and chips. Now these aren't expired. These are currently unexpired. What, by like uh, two weeks? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> Compared to what we just yeah. ate. I mean, if you want to complain, I can go get some expired ones, I'm sure. This one smells like nothing again. Oh my God. That was horrible. That was horrible. Oh. Doesn't it taste just like home? Maybe if you like lick the newspaper they were in. That's no good. It was horrible. <laughs> it, I will give you this. If I was blindfolded and I took a bite of that, I would think fish and chips. Like it did nail a flavor. It definitely made me think fish and chips, but it is oh. horrible. Oh, that's so bad. That fishy aftertaste no, from thanks. chips. Oh, 
That's a three. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a two. They shouldn't put fish on these. Yeah, there should be no more <laughs> fish flavored ones because they are not good. This is Hakata Mintaiko. So it's the the fish the eggs that we have. Have any of these not been fish? We yeah. The butter one. <laughs> we had the ribs. Ribs were great. Ribs was good. And they weren't fish oh ribs. God. None of these have tasted like a cough yet. I would never get fish from that. It has like a slight aftertaste, but I wouldn't I wouldn't know what flavor that was. It's mm -hmm. very like flavorless, but not in a bad way. It's just kind of like there. Yeah, that doesn't taste like anything specific. Yeah. It just tastes all right. That's a yeah. five? Yeah, five, just kind of middle of the road. Mm. Oh, it's uh, shepherd's pie again. <laughs> it's another shepherd's pie. Is it the same one? No, this one is soy sauce chicken ramen. Ooh, what was the other ramen? It was miso ramen. Ah. Oh, the, these ones smell the same. Wow. You getting that? Yeah, this reminds me of once upon a time there was a uh, there was a contest where Ruffles did like a special like three different kinds of flavors that were limited edition, and then you got to vote, and then one became a flavor. And we went everywhere looking for these chips um, with Steve Zaragoza, and we finally found the chicken and waffles ones were the hardest ones to find. This smells just like the chicken and waffles chips that we found. Yeah, these have like a, a hint of almost like a syrup smell. Yeah, that's I bet that's the soy sauce. Ah. Uh. Oh, that was horrible. Man alive. Oh my god, that's so bad. Mm mm. You know how if you leave soy sauce out on a plate, it like coagulates a little bit, like for a long time, like it gets like dry, but. You know how <clears throat> when you're wiping up a counter and some stains are like grippy? And yeah. Like, Ugh, and some sticky stuff. Imagine licking that out of an ashtray. Out of an ashtray? I'm not getting any ashtray, but I feel like, you know, like because you have so much. <laughs> <laughs> you have so much wasabi in your soy sauce when you eat soy sauce. So if we like left it overnight the next morning, it's like a little bit like still a little gooey, but it's like mostly dried out. If you licked that soy sauce, that's what this chip tastes like. And that one almost tastes like a cough. That two, one's a two out of ten. Three, I think, for me. That is a two oh. for me. This is Kensai Takoyaki. So Takoyaki is a Puss? little... Yeah, it is octopus. And they're like little fried balls of octopus and they have... Um, little toppings on them, they're really good. You get them in the street in Japan. Ooh, it smells super sweet. Ooh. Hmm. No. I would not choose that, but it's not nearly as bad as the other stuff we've had. <laughs> Very sweet. Oh, that's awful. That one I don't mind as much. I could give that like a six. That's got like, <clears throat> That's got like uni hints. Really, get an uni in there. I don't feel like I'm getting any uni, but it is quite sweet. <laughs> it doesn't taste like takoyaki to me. Ooh, the aftertaste, better than eating it. The aftertaste kind of tastes like hand soap. I don't know why I think everything tastes like soap. But why don't you like, get rid of this? <laughs> little bit of soap flavor in my mouth. Um, that was awful. I'd say it went from a two to a three, two and a half. Two, uh, two, two. Final one? Final one. Final Pringle can. Oh. All right. This is Nagoya. <laughs> Nagoya chicken wing. Hell yeah. Let's do it. That's what I mean. Sounds good, huh? Ooh, smells good. Smells like chicken. Yep. That's good. Very expired, I feel like. Uh-uh. It's really not. Check out the dates. Just a couple of months. Barely expired. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. This one's good. It's not as good as the rib, but that one's not bad. I give that like a seven out of ten. And I'm gonna go back to eating the ribs. That's a six for me. I'm not, I'm not really keen on that one. Dude, the ribs are so good. Let me, let me get back on the rib. That, that's a unanimous um, favorite. Oh, yeah. End on the rib for sure. Oh. So good. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Boy, thanks for joining me for this video. Thank you. It was sufficiently the grossest video that we've ever done, for sure. 
Yeah, well, that fish. Oh. It was not my favorite. But we'll be back with, we're going to palate cleanse. And then we'll be back with Kit Kat. So we'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching this video. See you guys next time. Bye, heart you. Bye. Bye.